For this path analysis example, I'm going to use the uh, union sentiment data that was collected by McClellan in 1984. His study looked at the relationship between age and years and then how deference toward their employer and support of their employer uh, mediate the effect of age on sentiment toward unions. Now, to run this analysis, because we don't have the raw data, we're going to have to enter the um, covariance matrix. And so the covariance matrix is located in uh, the path analysis chapter of Lomax, uh, of Schumach, Schumacher and Lomax. And you can see that um, these are the covariances by each of the variables. And so these variables have to be labeled in the order in the simplest syntax that they are in the covariance matrix. So let me uh, show you how to do that. So what we're going to do now is, and um, what, what I've done here, I'm going to open up this sim simplest uh, Word file. And so what I've done is I've typed these, and uh, but I'm going to show you how to enter them into uh, Lyceral. So we're going to go File and New, and we're going to go Simplest Project. And uh, we're going to um, label this. Let's see if I can get the window positioned right. We're going to label this U.S for union sentiment, and then I'm going to go save. And I've already done this once, so I'm going to replace the file. And now I'm going to use this Word file to help me enter this simplest syntax. So I'm going to go observed variables, and I can either put a colon and put the variables on the same line, or I can just go to the next line and enter the name of the variables. Notice these are in the same order as the covariance matrix from the uh, chapter on the path analysis that was given to us. And then the next thing I have to do is specify a covariance matrix. And then I'm going to type in that covariance matrix. And then you want to make sure you give uh, a little space in between and that you get you get on the, the, the correct line. Start here. Now we're going to put in the uh, sample size, 173 cases, and then the relationships. This is the paths. 
So we have deference equal to age, support equals age deference. And you have to make sure that you spell these correctly. They have to be the same, or the Lisserl will uh, give you a syntax error message, and then you'll have to go back and check to make sure that you have the right spelling for these variables. Then uh, one of the things I'm going to add is this Lisserl output command and EF because what that will do is give me the uh, direct, the indirect effects, and the total effects for the relationships between these variables. Now if you don't want to work in the Lisserl syntax, simplest syntax window, you can copy this syntax from the Word document and paste it. But you got to make sure everything's lined up and everything uh, is where it needs to be. Otherwise, you'll uh, get syntax errors. So let's take a look at those relationships in reference to the um, paths. So here's the path diagram, and here's my Lisserl syn simplest syntax. So deference. Uh, equals age. Age and deference equals support. So you got a path to support from age and a path from age to deference. That's what this stands for. And then you got a path just from age to deference. Then we have a path from sentiment to years, age, and deference. So we have a path from years to uh, sentiment a path from support to sentiment, and a path from deference to sentiment. And then we also have a path from deference to uh, support. And that's, um, that's captured here. That's captured in this line here. OK. So now we have our setup, and then we can go ahead and run our and we see we've got a little bit of a messy uh, output or path diagram, but what we can do is we can set this up so it looks like our uh, path diagram that I showed at the beginning. Can move sentiment here and can move. Can move support up here. Try to get it to look similar to this path diagram. So we want support in years here. So uh, get it like that. There we go. So now we have our uh, path diagram, just like we see in the book. We have our path coefficients, and now we can uh, go to window and go to the output. And then we can scroll down and we can see our, uh, this is our uh, simplest syntax, our covariance matrix. And um, these are our path coefficients. And then we have our gamma path coefficients. These are uh, coefficients from endogenous to endogenous variables. So these are. Uh, the path coefficients for uh, deference. Uh, I'm sorry. Let's see if I can scoot this over so that we can kind of see what the path coefficients look like relative to the um, close this, close this. And let's see, so here uh, is the path coefficient 0 0.09, uh, and we can see that here. It's just uh, rounded off in the path diagram. So this is the uh, path there, 
uh, for support, uh, 0 0.058, that's this one here, and 0 0.861, that's uh, this path here. And then we have the uh, paths for um, deference to uh, support, 0.285, it's rounded off to 0.28, and then sentiment uh, from deference to sentiment, rounded up to uh, 0.222, and then the path from support to sentiment, uh, 0.850. So you can see where these are on the diagram. And you can print this diagram out if you like, and then print the output and then put them side by side. And uh, so this is uh, the structural equations. And we'll talk about those in detail later on. And this is um, statistics for the model fit. So this is how you run the analysis for the uh, union sentiment data, and um, we'll be discussing this in more detail.